Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Quasar's Dispatch and MDT. So obviously the first thing you wanna do is head to their Tebex store, which I will leave a link down in the description. After you log in, you're just gonna wanna go to their products. And from their products, go to Dispatch. And from here, Dispatch and MDT. And after you purchase the script, just go to the cfx.re keymaster and log into the same 5M account that you logged in with over here. Now, if you search for Quasar, you will find the item right here, Quasar Store Dispatch and MDT. So you're just going to want to go ahead and download that. After you download it, you want to head to the, where you downloaded it and open the zip file. I already have it open right here, so we can go ahead and close this and minimize Chrome. After you download it, you're going to want to head to your server files, resources, and go to wherever you want to place it. Go ahead and drop that in here, and you can close the zip file after you do that. Now we're just going to want to go ahead and open this, open QS Dispatch, open SQL, and run this SQL file. Here, I'm just going to hit this little blue check mark, and refresh to make sure that they came in here. As you can see, we have all the dispatch stuff. And after you do that, you can go ahead and close that back out and you can delete this SQL folder. From here, you're gonna go to config and config.lua. From here, make sure defaults is off. You can allow images. You can set a D Discord webhook, um, play image and logo URL. You can set all that up from here. The config.inventory system. You wanna set either QB inventory, QS inventory, ESX default, or you can select aux inventory. But since I have aux inventory, I am gonna go ahead and put that in right there. Aux inventory is not fully tested. So if you do have problems, just head to their discord and put it under bugs and you'll, they'll get it fixed. So after here, housing, automatically gets housing it automatically gets to your voice for billing obviously i have esx so i'm gonna just do esx billing but you can do any of these you can either have police be able to see players bills or not you just change this to either true or false for garages you can set it to any of these options i have qs advanced garages so i'm gonna go ahead and leave that the same here, you can change the keybinds for opening the large UI, the small UI, or to move the UI. Here, I would just keep this the same. There's no point in changing that. You could change the respond uh, keybind. Radars, I would just keep that on. Uh, I wouldn't really change any of this if you don't know what you're doing. I would just keep that the same. For show your own blip on the map, I would keep that to true. For job blips, um, police, ambulance, I wouldn't really touch any of this, like I said, if you don't know what you're doing. For commands, you can change these to open the large uh, UI. Um, it's just slash, it would just be a slash command. So slash dispatch, small UI is slash small dispatch. Move it is slash move dispatch comps. Disable the speed radar is just slash disable speed radar. And to open the MDT is just slash open MDT. If you want, police or ambulance or whoever to require the mdt item you can just change this to true and then make sure you add an item called mdt to your server and then they can just use the item and then that will bring up the mdt i'm gonna just keep it a false i'm gonna just keep the command um i would definitely keep this to, to true so it uses the, their new mdt um same thing for this radios just keep it to true scroll down and then all this other stuff is really in depth if you guys do want tutorials on in-depth configuration just leave a comment and i'll get those pushed out for you guys but in this video i am not going to do that but after you set your inventory garages and all that good stuff you can go ahead and close the config from here you can go ahead and open this go to config config.lua now here you can change the language I would just keep this to zero. Enable default alerts. If you want shooting alerts, 
theft alerts, melee alerts, or player down alerts. You can keep these true. If you don't want them, you just change this to say false. I'm going to keep them on. Shooting will um, have an image. You can either turn that off or on. It's really up to you. Shooting zones. Um, let's say you guys have like a police station um, somewhere else with a firing range or you just have a, a gun store with a firing range. You can add um, whitelisted zones to allow shooting. So you would just copy one of these, for example, add a comma under this one, paste it in, change this to a three, and then you just put the cords of the middle of the shooting range right there. But we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that as we're not gonna do that in this video. But other than that, I would keep this all the same. Go ahead and close this, back out, after you do all that, you can go ahead and restart your server and I'll be right back as soon as the server is back up. Okay, as soon as the server is up, you should see this right here, QS Dispatch, and it should say whichever either QB Core or ESX version. After that, you're just going to want to go ahead and load into your server and I'll be right back as soon as I'm loaded. <music> After you load in you're gonna want to go ahead and make sure that you have the police job so we're gonna go ahead and set my job to police so as you can see I am a police captain now so we're just gonna go ahead and do slash open MDT so this is K uh, Quasar's this uh, MDT system here obviously you can search um, I obviously have two characters named Dev Smith so you can just go ahead and click it um obviously this one owns a vehicle this one doesn't i have two um you can add licenses here either driver um i guess there's two driver there's drive and driver weapon or aircraft um same thing with tags you can just type whatever you want here um my character does not have bills so i won't add any here you can add notes um you obviously you can add an image a link a warning etc i'm gonna go ahead and not add anything view incidents i don't have any incidents but obviously you can create new ones so citizens involved or we'll just add a title we'll just do test citizens involved i'll just add my other character um, and then the principal citizen involved would just be like the main person. So we'll just do the character and then companions, etc. Here, um, we'll just add text. We'll just say uh, that he got into a fight and drew blood, for example. Okay, then we can just go ahead and create it. Now, character has an incident you can they can see everything you can even update it afterwards um you can see if there's any bolos you can create new ones so here we'll just do for example robbery and anyone involved we'll just do that character again create and go to bolos you can search for it so we'll just search for like robber for example and now you can see there's a robbery finding a plate let's go ahead and get my car plate so my car plate is lao so we'll go ahead and close that just so i can show you guys this find plate lao search you can see the car you can view the details to see who owns it you can even view the citizen directly from here now for the dispatch there are cameras around the city as you can see here uh, here and here so i am going to give myself a weapon so the item weapon underscore pistol and we'll just give myself one and give myself some ammo uh, sorry. 
ammo dash nine. And I'll just give myself a hundred bullets or so. And if I shoot the gun, as you can hear, I was shooting near a camera, so there is that. Civilians will also get that. Now, as you can see, once I open this, I see this here. That's just by clicking K, you can open that menu. So, I can even go here. We'll go a little bit further away just so you guys can see it pop up. Away. I'm gonna shoot here. I'm the same civilian, so it will pop up the same thing and it shows the street. But you could just click G to respond to it. As you can see, it says that one unit is responding to it and it will add a waypoint to that spot. Now, if we open up the script to go look at the commands again there is a dispatch it's not just an mdt it's also a dispatch so if we just do slash dispatch slash dispatch we will see the alert here as well you can either cancel the call delete it or whatever here you can view officers body cams just go ahead and as you can see you can see officers body cams um obviously as a dispatch here there won't be anything here but my current so that would just mark my location same thing here right i can just delete this call if i wanted whatever here auto minute you can just set this yourself for how long it takes to remove calls you can even set your own call sign you can see now I set my own call sign here you can obviously set this to wherever you want let's just do like patrol team one for example I can put myself in there etc or any of these other ones you can set radio status on or off as you can see if I click on I'm now in a radio channel which I believe it's alt to speak in and it even does the whole animation you can just leave that here you can toggle your radar for a car so i'm gonna just spawn in a police car so you guys can see the radar let's turn that off oh i just spawned another one on accident and as you can see we have a radar now and if i point towards the street it will show us the speed of the car and the license plate of the car and the model. But that is how you install Quasar's MDT and Dispatch. I hope I made it easier for you guys. If you guys do have any questions or any errors, please just comment them down below and I'll try my best to get back to you guys. Or if you guys have any other scripts you guys want a tutorial on, just comment it down below and I'll try my best to get those pushed out for you guys. But with that being said, I hope I helped you guys and have a great day.